Hi there, I'm Chris and what I'm showing you here is using the GPU to accelerate um, various techniques for processing the camera feed um, from the Raspberry Pi camera module. Uh, the idea of this work is to get the GPU to do a load of the heavyweight bits of um, image processing that are needed before you can go on and do something like face detection or object detection. Um, so I'll start by just skipping through these different filters or different images and showing you, explaining what they are. So we've got here the luminosity, which is an output from the camera directly, and it's corresponding U and V values, which are used to do, to define its colour. Um, and then the first bit of work the GPU does is just to convert that to a proper red, green, blue value. Next thing that's really useful for image processing algorithms is to be able to downsample that image to different um, levels of detail so that you can run an expensive algorithm on a small image or a cheap algorithm on a bigger one and you can show the user the full detail on it. So if we skip through those now, it's really simple. You can probably see I'm getting a little bit blockier as it goes on, if you watch my hand. There it goes and that's the lowest level of detail one there. I think it's about 32 pixels high. Right, next filter. This is the classic Gaussian blur. It's a 5x5 blur, um, which is the maximum the Raspberry Pi can really handle because of the number of samples. There's cleverer ways of doing it that are more costly, but this is a pretty naive one that just samples a load of pixels and then blends them together. Very useful for any image for image processing algorithms though. This is a um, really common filter in any image processing is an edge filter. Sobel edge filter on each colour channel here. Um, and as you can see, it's just highlighting the edges of my hands and face. Got exactly the same filter but run on the grayscale luminosity input from the camera which is sometimes used rather than full colour because it's a lot easier to deal with. Um, not as much detail, but it's a lot simpler to deal with one number than three numbers. It's uh, another type of noise reduction filter called a median filter, which just sets each pixel to the middle value of its surrounding pixels. Um, it's very good at removing kind of speckly noise that the blur filter doesn't do so well with because it just blends in the speckleness with everything else. Uh, really simple one here, just showing extraction of one of the colour channels. Um, this is a bit tricky to see on the camera. If you look at my t-shirt or the lighting on the settee, this is a dilation filter which sets any pixel to the maximum value of its surrounding pixels. And we have a corresponding, it's, it's opposite, is the erosion filter which sets each pixel to the minimum value of its surrounding ones. You can see my t-shirt's got the opposite effect now. Um, and finally, this is a threshold filter. It just sets uh, any pixel to either black or white, depending on whether it's above a certain brightness. And back to the whole lot. Ooh, that's the luminosity. And there's everything running full frame rate again. Right, now the key thing here is not just that we're doing all of this work on the GPU, but all of these is actually being rendered to a texture. And that means that uh, firstly you can read that texture on the CPU once it's been generated uh, for passing it into something like OpenCV, um, but you've done a load of the hard work so the CPU doesn't have to do it. Or you can queue up these uh, operations so you can run one filter and then another filter and then another filter um, which I'm already doing a little bit here because you've got the raw camera feed is turning into the color feed which is coming into the uh, half down sampled one which is then being fed into the blur and Sabelle filter and things. But I'll just show you that in more and more useful use of it is um, so this is queuing up a load of filters properly to get out the edges of my body. Um, so this is taking that red, green, blue value 
running a median filter on it, then using the Sabel filter and eroding the results to get rid of a bit of noise and finally uh, running it through a threshold just to say yes this is an edge or no it isn't. And um, that's the demo for now. I hope it's useful. Um, I'll be putting all of the code on my blog, um, robotblogging.blogspot.com and any comments let me know.